Hello Jericho Squared, welcome back to my kitchen and if you're new to this channel, a very warm welcome to you. Today's recipe is this delicious scrumptious looking chicken vegetable stir fry. Oh yes, come along with me to my kitchen, let's do it. <laughs> So to begin my cooking process, I am first of all going to marinate my chicken and I cut some chicken breasts, the fleshy parts and some chicken parts into thin slices like this and then I am going to season with some dried pepper flakes, garlic powder, ginger powder, black pepper and some thyme and then I am going to season with about two seasoning cubes that I used the nor beef cube for this and then I am going to season with some salt, turmeric, pepper and some dried oregano. I will mix all of that together and cover and put in the fridge for about two hours. I added dried pepper because I love my stir fry a little bit spicy. You can omit the pepper completely, whatever suits you. So while I marinated my chicken and kept in the fridge, I went ahead and started prepping my vegetables. Guys, I won't lie to you, one of the hardest parts to me about making stir fry is <laughs> prepping the vegetables. But I tell you, once you're done with that part, you're good to go. So here I use some carrots, some bell peppers, green red, some um I use some ginger, garlic, onions, cabbage, and then I have some celery and scallions. So I went ahead and washed my vegetables again and again with salt and vinegar. And this is how you prepare your cucumber. I thought to show you that you remove the inside part, the wet part. The perfect cucumber to use for any stir fry is the English cucumber as it tends to be dry on the inside. But in the absence of it, you can use the one we have here in Nigeria, the one that is most popular now this is how you want to cut your vegetable you want it to be slightly slanted like this so we are going to try and cut all our vegetables to look equal just like this look how beautiful it's looking already very colorful so beautiful and the onions too you try to get the same shape so they can cook evenly at the same time and you look so uniform next on the list of my ingredients is some black pepper salt and vegetable oil and now we are going to proceed and start frying our vegetables and there i have a work on fire on high medium heat and to that i added about two tablespoons of vegetable oil you do not want to use too much you can use sesame oil olive oil canola oil sunflower oil coconut oil whatever seems best to you but i love my soya oil and then i added my ginger and garlic just a little because i will use some later and then i added some celery sticks to that and then i am starting with the harder vegetable first and that is the carrots and the green beans they tend to have a harder texture so i'm going to fry that i will season with some black pepper and salt now we're using a lot of natural flavor for this and it's in the celery the ginger the garlic so we don't want to and then the chicken is spiced already we don't want to overwhelm the stir fry so we are sticking to just black pepper and some salt next i added my cabbage and i will season with some salt and pepper as well fry for about a minute and then i will follow through with my bell peppers look how beautiful already season with some salt and pepper again 
and black pepper again and fry for about a minute now the texture you're looking for in this stir fry is not that you want it to cook completely you want it to be al dente so now you're going to follow through with your last ingredient and that is the cucumber someone was asking cucumber in a stir fry yes you can use cucumber in a stir fry and it goes just well it depends on how you prep your cucumber and we're going to fry that for about a minute and turn off the heat and set aside to cool now the residual heat is going to continue to cook the vegetable and the, you're going to reintroduce it back so next I added about two tablespoons of oil again and I reintroduced my ginger and garlic fried that till it was um, golden brown caramelized and then I added my onions and I'm going to fry that as well I'm not seasoning at this point now I introduce my chicken my marinated chicken and it's already well spiced and so so good we're not adding any extra seasoning to this dish again <laughs> I'm laughing because my daughter is in the background and I'm trying to shut her up and she wishes to be shut up <laughs> so now I am going to just continue to cook this on high heat now you keep checking how you know that your chicken is beginning to get cooked is that it begins to release its own juices into the pot and then you know that okay your chicken is cooking now at this point i am going to introduce some chicken stock into this dish and this is going to give it that umami flavor it's going to give it that creamy texture it's going to be dry but wet enough for you to eat your rice or whatever you want to eat with it now we are going to introduce our scallion and uh use some of the celery leaves as well and introduce our vegetables look at how beautiful this stir fry is looking and i tell you it's so yummy so simple the flavors are just right you'll find yourself going for a second serving trust me I enjoyed my stir fry with some rice and it was so good. Thank you so much for watching once again. See you in my next video. Bye.